Oh, I can give you a little uh, video illustration of our bell siphon here. This thing is about to go. Here, let me lift the lid so you can kind of see both things uh, working together here. Okay, so basically, the way that we have our bell siphons designed here is uh, we have a standpipe underneath this jar. I don't know if you can even really see that very well. And then basically the standpipe and the jar, um, the jar interacts with the standpipe by making like a little closed loop. I think you all know how the bell siphon works. But one thing that I've done to really fine tune the dumping and the level at which the uh, water dumps is I couple this bell siphon with a small U-bin siphon down here. And if you were to look at this U-bin siphon dead on, it's got like a little tiny angle back on itself. I don't know, maybe like uh, 10 degrees, maybe 15 degrees. And what that does is it puts a little water weight back against the uh, siphon load. And what happens is this little bit of water rocks back and forth. It's almost like a piston. And then the weight of this pushes back against the top of this siphon up here. And so basically what happens is this piston kind of primes the siphon from the top. And then it also makes it so that this uh, siphon will completely drain all the way down to the very bottom lip of that jar and just continue to take all the water out of the bed until it uh, is pretty much like bone dry. In my previous uh, attempts with the bell siphon, I noticed that you know my bed would uh, it would only drain about three quarters of the water and then it would choke on itself and I didn't want that. I want it to drain pretty much down to like a half an inch of water. And so I was able to tune it and time it by adding this little U-bin siphon on the bottom. And I think with these two things together, I can get this so precise, I can almost like set my watch by the time. I think the whole thing loads in about a, like an hour and 37 minutes and then it drains in about uh, I don't know, like 15 or so minutes or something. It really gushes out. I think it's about to start right now. So let's see if we can uh, catch it doing its thing here. I don't know if we want to sit here and wait for this whole thing. So I might help it just a tad. And you can see this is starting to let out more water. And then the water level inside there is going, and then there we go. There's that jar. It's solid. And the siphon is just cranking away. And then it's just gushing out. As you can see, the thing has ejected all the air out of it. And if you look on the side here, the water level is just draining down from the mesh pot. So that's how we do it. All right, and that's that. Thanks for joining us once again, and uh, um, hopefully uh, this was a helpful and informative video for you. All right, you take care.